Sylvia Goodman. I'm from San Francisco, California, and I use Soul Lightning Acupressure in my practice with cancer patients at Marin General Hospital. But don't tell anybody because I'm really there as a massage therapist, but I always use some of Soul Lightning Acupressure in the sessions. I think it helps people center and ground and feel good in their bodies. When they get off of the table, they really feel so much better. And, um, and of course, I reap a reward just by seeing the, the pleasure that they have received, that they feel more connected to their body. People sometimes who are very anxious um, are feeling much more supported, much more stable. I have a patient who has difficulty walking, and when I do the whole protocol with her, um, she is able to walk out of the session feeling stronger and able to um, walk basically still with a walker, but with a lot more energy. Mm. What could be more rewarding than that? Yeah. What else do you want to know? What do your clients say after receiving a Soul Lightning Acupressure session? What was that? <laughs> what was that? That was amazing. Or I saw some fantastic lights. I said, mm hmm. That's so that the the surprise, I think, more than anything, are like, what was what was that? And and I said, well, that that was you, you know. You you were the person who was involved in all of whatever that was. And oftentimes, um, if something comes up, we can process it right away. And there's some clarity if there's if there has to be more clarity. Sometimes people are working with other professionals. And so I said, well, if you are, you know, please feel free to use whatever information you've received in that way to help you resolve whatever conflicts are going on with you. It's not necessarily conflicts here. Sometimes people, um, as other people have, have reported, you know, they are having some issues with a shoulder or a knee. And oftentimes what happens is that if there are those issues, you can clear a meridian and uh, the pain goes away. So I often tell people, you know, before you are thinking about any kind of hip replacements, shoulder issues, or knee replacements, come, come see us so that we can maybe clear a meridian and maybe get, um, get you on the right track and you, don't, and you can avoid some of these other things. I had, a, I had someone that came to see me, actually she was a nurse, everything hurt okay so we did um, basic protocol basically uh, of soul lightning and we clear the, the meridians the gallbladder meridian and uh, specifically and um, she got off the table and she said that, that's amazing are you kidding that's that all the pain is gone so that was very fast and I think I got to her basically pretty soon after this after the accident so that it, it was able to clear pretty quickly. And um, so I feel grateful for that. But for me, it's, it's just so rewarding to see people that can, can re resolve some of these issues that they may have without having to go beyond. Mm -hmm. so that's very great for me. If you could use three words to describe how soul lightning acupressure has changed your life, what would they be? three words oh my god <laughs> no it's <laughs> do you want me to expand expand a little on that it's like um you don't realize how powerful until you until you've been with this work for a while um it will take you to places that you never anticipated you know we're trained to have a basically a left brain <laughs> mentality and we don't give our the other side of the equation much much rift, you know. Oh, that's this or that. But it's total. It's you just have to have some of the experiences. Some of the out of body experiences are pretty amazing without drugs, okay. And um, and you you can tr 
travel in places that you didn't expect to travel. So for me, that was probably the most uh, amazing part of this. I mean, that's something that I tried to do. I've gone back as far, I haven't done rebirthing through it, but I've gotten really close. So um, just in the process of doing the work, uh, having the opportunity to meet um, my um, in utero life, basically, and um, to feel what my mother was feeling at the time. And then uh, another experience that I had, which was quite amazing, was I had um, a number of people who had passed and who were not resolved in their passing. So they were not, they were not quiet. Mm -hmm. And so they came to me for res resolution. Now these were people that I did not know. Um, I had no connection really with at the time. I didn't know who they were, um, but they came to me for healing. And so I called on higher helpers to please help me with this one because, you know, what do I say? What do I do? And it's just um, sending love to them.